glitter all over the couch? No! Why? I think it would make the couch look pretty pretty. No, it would not make the couch pretty pretty. It'd make the couch messy messy. How about you do something less messy, like make your Christmas list for Santa Claus? Santa Claus can lick my jingle balls. Jeffy, did you just say balls? No, I said bells. I said jingle bells. I heard balls. Because that's because you have a dirty mind, Daddy. You need to get your mind out of the gutter. Look, how about you just make your Christmas list for Santa Claus? All right, Daddy. <sighs> now, what do I want for Christmas? Jeffy! Because you spilled glitter all over the couch. No, I didn't. Yes, you did with your elbow. Well, I'm sorry for having elbows. I'll go get them surgically removed just for you for Christmas, Daddy. Jeffy, clean up this glitter right now. I gotta make my Christmas list for Santa Claus. You don't get a Christmas list anymore because you're a bad boy and Santa thinks you're a bad boy. <laughs> Yeah, Santa thinks you're a bad boy. What? Because you spilled glitter all over the, the, the couch and you make my life horrible. Ah! Mario, you're too hard on him. He spilled glitter all over the couch. He didn't mean to, Mario. It was an accident. An accident? I think he did it on purpose. Every move he makes is a chess piece being moved off the board. He, he, he thinks of everything. Everything he does is planned. And telling him that he's not going to get any Christmas presents this year is mean. Well, he's not going to get anything. He's not. Mario, go help him make his Christmas list. Okay, on this Christmas list, I'm going to put a vacuum to clean up all this glitter. <sighs> <sighs> Jeffy, I'm sorry for yelling at you. Let's make your Christmas list. Aw, Daddy. Jeffy, what are you doing in there? Aw, why does my daddy hate me? Jeffy, what was that noise? It was just me complaining. Oh, I thought you had someone in here. Anyway, Jeffy, I'm sorry for yelling at you, so I'm going to help you make your Christmas list. Aw, help me make my Christmas list, Daddy. I'll stop. Jeffy, just grab a piece of paper and let's make your Christmas list. All right, Daddy. Well, I actually already wrote my list to Santa Claus. You already wrote it. Beep. Uh, dear Santa Claus, what I want for Christmas is a PlayStation 5. Love, Jeffy. Yep, Daddy. All I want is a PlayStation 5. Well, just put your letter in this note to the North Pole. Oh, give me your North Pole, Daddy. Ow! Jeffy, just put it in here. All right, fine. All right, baby, hide this. Just to say we sent it to the North Pole. What? Uh, all right, Jeffy, we just sent your letter to the North Pole. Okay, Daddy. I'm so excited for Santa Claus to start making my PlayStation 5. Um, Mario, no, you didn't. It's right here. <gasps> Daddy, you didn't mail my letter to Santa Claus? Baby, why couldn't you lie with me? Why can't you have my back? <gasps> oh. Yeah, oh, you were supposed to lie with me. Sorry, Mario. Uh, all right, Jeffy, I, I, it must have fell out of the mailbox. I'll go put it back in there. Yeah, Daddy, you better mail my letter to Santa Claus. Where are they even going to send it to if I put it in the mailbox? Mario, they'll find a place to mail it. Go, go. There is no North Pole. Hey there, face eater, you freak. What you want? You get your first piece of mail. Maybe it's a letter from one of the families of your victims. I never begets mails while I'm in years. Here, take it. <laughs> All right, let's see what kind of mails I got. Let's see. Dear Santa Claus, what the? What I want for Christmas is a PlayStation 5. Love, Jeffy. Oh my god. I got a secret admirer. I hope he's got a tasty face. I'm gonna write back to him. All right, Jeffy, I just sent your letter to the North Pole. Daddy, I don't care which side of the pole she's on. I'm still throwing cash as long as she's twerking that bottom. <laughs> what? I don't even know. What? Baby, you, you never cleaned up the glitter? Oh, was I supposed to? Wait, you, you cook it clean. That's what you do, right? Oh, but Mario, it's so pretty. They look like shiny stars. It looks like a big mess. Look, I'm going to grab some paper towels to clean it up. Paper towels? I, I don't have a vacuum, so I don't know how to clean it up. Um, it's pronounced vacuum, Daddy. <sighs> I have to get so many paper towels. What? Who's at the door? Uh, hello? Hello! I was going through your mail and I found a letter for you! You can't go through my mail! I know! It is a federal offense! So evil! <laughs> Just give me my mail! Okay! Who's at the door, Mario? It was the devil, and he brought mail for Jeffy! <gasps> Maybe it's Santa Claus! Aw, Mario, did you write a fake response to Jeffy from Santa? What? No, why would I entertain him? Alright, the letter says, Hey, Jeffy, I love you too! You'll get a PlayStation 5 if you send me a shovel! Love, Face Eater! Mario, why would you write that? I did not write that! Who's Face Eater? Maybe it's Santa Claus' secret name! No, he'd probably go by cookie eater or milk drinker, not face eater. Oh, maybe he likes sucking face, because you know Mrs. Claus got that wagon. 
Baby, who would send this to Jeffy? I don't know. This is really weird, Mario. And why would this person want Jeffy to send him a shovel? <gasps> Mario, look at the news! Breaking news, okay? The known criminal, face eater, who was convicted of eating 10 people's faces, was denied parole for the fifth time earlier today. He's scheduled for the electric chair next month, and he's currently being held in solitary confinement at the North Pole Penitentiary Prison. What? Mario, a criminal is writing letters to our son, Jeffy! Why is this happening? I don't know! Baby, when I wrote North Pole in the envelope, they accidentally sent it to North Pole Prison. Oh, no! Santa Claus or not? No, Jeffy, it's not Santa Claus. But Santa Claus wrote me a letter and said that he needs a shovel. So what if he's stuck in the snow or something? It's not Santa Claus. He's not stuck in the snow. This is a criminal. Then just because Santa Claus breaks into people's houses and leaves presents behind does not make him a criminal. This is a criminal, Jeffy. It's not Santa Claus and you're not helping him. You're not sending him a shovel. But Santa Claus needs a shovel, Daddy. So I'm going to send him a shovel. Oh, no, you're not. You're grounding. You're going to your room. Oh. All right, Jeffy, you're going to sit in your room because you're grounding. You're not going anywhere. But Santa Claus needs my help! You're not gonna help him! He needs a shovel! Well, you're staying in your room, you're grounded! <sighs> oh, what am I gonna do to help Santa Claus? Oh, what am I gonna do, Daddy? Hey, Jeffy, I was under the covers the whole time. I heard everything. How do we help Santa Claus? Well, Santa Claus is stuck in the snow, Junior, and I need you to go to the store and buy a shovel and then mail it to the North Pole so we can help Santa Claus. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll go get a shovel. All right, thank you, Junior. Hey, face eater, you freak. You call me freaks one more time, so I'm gonna break out of here and I'm gonna eat your face off! Yeah, well, I don't know who's been sending you all this mail, but they just sent you a package. Now, I'm a very trusting person, so I didn't look through it, but I trust you to tell me if there's anything bad in here instead of trying to break out. All right, now open up the gate so I can put it in there. All right, here you go. You freak! Oh, if I could get out of here, I'd eat your face off so bad! From my lover, Jeffy. Well, let's see what you sent me. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna see you soon, my love. Hey, face eater, you freak. I got your dinner, your goldfish crackers. And don't worry, you can just eat the faces if you want to. Hey, I'm talking to you, face eater. Are, are you in there? You, you freak? You, you're a freak. Oh no, is he dead? Oh, please don't be dead. Oh, please don't be dead. Who am I gonna bully now? Face eater! Freak! What? Oh no, what's this? Oh crap, he dug his way out of prison! We got a cold black! Oh, I hope Santa Claus gets that shovel. Hey kid, it's me! <gasps> Santa Claus? <gasps> Santa Claus, is that you? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's me, Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. You don't look like Santa Claus. Uh, oh, oh that, that, that's because I'm in disguise. Yeah, I, I don't want anybody to recognize me. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Come on inside, Santa Claus. All right, Santa Claus, this is my room. It's a pretty nice place you get here, kid. How much is rent? Oh, I don't pay rent. Really? That's a pretty sweet gig. Oh, yeah, I got a question for you. What does a teardrop tattoo on your face mean? Does that mean you're a crybaby? Oh, yeah, I got a teardrop tattoo for every face I've eaten. I mean, I mean, uh, for, for every present I deliver, yeah. Oh, okay. And what's the number on your neck mean? Oh, well, that, that's, uh, that, that, that's how many elves I got. Okay. Yeah, hey, listen, do you have a full Look. Um, actually, I do. Right here. Here you go. Oh, cool. Thanks, thanks. And, uh, do you have any, uh, barbecue sauce for your face? No. That's okay. I'll just have to eat it raw, then. Oh, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a question. Where's my PlayStation 5? Listen, kid, I don't know what that is. I've been in the slammer for the last 20 years. But you told me that you would give me a PlayStation 5 if I got you a shovel. Uh, okay, okay, whatever. Just let me eat your face first. Well, oh, can you come see my daddy? He doesn't believe that Santa Claus is real. But no, I'm not gonna do that. But I need you to come see my daddy! Okay, fine, fine. Just whatever. Whatever will help me eat your face fast. Okay, now you need to put on your Santa Claus outfit. I, I don't, I don't have that. All right, hold on. Let me go get you one. I'll be right back.
All right, now you look like Santa Claus, so let's go say hi to my daddy. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get this over with. I'm hungry. Oh, actually, I got a question real quick. Why are you wearing lipstick? Oh, let's just say in prison I had to do some stuff I ain't proud of. Now, come on, let's hurry this up. Okay. Mario, how long is Jeffy going to be grounded for? Until that criminal gets the electric chair because Jeffy was trying to help him escape. Oh, Father. Jeffy, go back to your room. You were not supposed to leave. You're grounded. But, Daddy, I got a surprise for you. What? what did, did you get a vacuum to clean up all this glitter? No, even better. I'm going to turn you into a believer. What are you talking about? Oh, Santa Claus, get in here. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. Mario, it's Santa Claus! I can't believe it! Santa Claus is really here! Man, you guys are idiots. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's me, Santa Claus! Yeah, Daddy, and you didn't want me sending him a shovel so he could escape! Because you were trying to help a criminal, but this is the real Santa Claus! Yeah, yeah, here, here I am. Mario, uh, I can't believe Santa Claus is here. Yeah, uh, so how long are you going to be here, Santa Claus? Oh, uh, you know, I was thinking about staying here for a little while. Well, you can stay here as long as you need. You can even share a room with Jeffy. Oh, great, great. Yeah, hey, Jeffy, why don't we just get this lumber party started now? Okay. I can't believe Santa Claus is really here. Mario, we met the real Santa. The real Santa, I'm a believer. All right, kid, let me eat your face. No more playing around. You sure talk about eating faces a lot. Well, it's because I'm hungry. My name is Face Eater. What do you expect? Oh, well, do you want me to go get you some ketchup or mustard or something? Yeah, yeah, actually, that'd be good. Okay, hold on. Mario, what do you think Jeffy and Santa Claus are doing in there? They're probably writing Jeffy's Christmas list. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Face Eater, the scary criminal, has escaped from prison by digging his way out using a shovel. How he got the shovel, we have no idea, but if you see him, call 911 immediately because he's extremely dangerous. Oh no! How do you think he escaped, Mario? I don't know, but I don't think Jeffy helped him because he's been with Santa Claus this whole time. You're right, Mario. Hey, hey, have either of you guys seen Face Eater? No, but I just saw on the news that he escaped. Yeah, the tracker in his anus says he's in this house somewhere. What? In this house? Don't worry, Mario. Santa will protect him. Yes, yeah, Santa Claus will protect him. But Santa Claus? Yeah, Santa Claus showed up a few minutes ago and has been hanging out with Jeffy in his room. Uh, uh could, could you point me to the room that Santa Claus is in, please? Yeah, he's in Jeffy's room, the one with the bunk beds. Cool, thank you. Yeah, I got Face Eater. He's in a kid's room. There you are, Face Eater. Freeze. Put your hands up. No, 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 drop the fork. Drop the fork. I said drop the fork. No, no, stay away from me. Don't, don't you come to me. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. with a fork. I had to put him down. I didn't have a choice. Oh, is Santa God. Claus okay? Uh, is, is, uh, oh, oh. is Jeffy okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, Jeffy's safe, but he's gonna need years of therapy. Oh, God, so am I. You folks have a Merry Christmas. Marvin, guess what came in the mail today? These nuts. My grandparents' ashes. Oh, Wait, your grandparents' ashes? Like, both of them? Yeah, Marvin, they wanted to be mixed together for all eternity. Wait, so they're both inside this thing? Ew, that's their ashes? Yes, Marvin, they died and they were cremated. They wanted to be put in this priceless, one-of-a-kind vase that's been passed down from generation to generation in my family. Well, can we put it, like, in the closet or something? I don't want to look at it. It's weird. Oh, no, Marvin, they love kitchens. They said when we die, put us in the kitchen. Okay, well, I'm not going to sit in the kitchen and look at your grandparents' death sand, okay? I'm going to go upstairs. Oh, okay. All right, guys, are you ready to kick the soccer ball in the house? Yeah! yeah! But Junior, what if we break something? Cody, are you 40 years old? What if we break something? Yeah, be a kid for once. Well, I just don't want to get in trouble. We're not going to get in trouble. Hey, Jeffy, I'm going to kick the ball to you first. Okay. Ugh. 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 I got it, I got it. My turn. Ugh. Watch this! Oh, what was that? It sounded like you broke something. It sounded like you broke something. Cody, that's what you sound like. If you ever want to know what you sound like, that's what you sound like. Well, okay, that doesn't change that you broke something. Okay, how do you know I broke something? Because there was a loud crash from the kitchen. But what if there's a speaker in there that plays crashing glass sounds? What, why would you have that? You know they're like little machines that play nature noises? Maybe it's on the crashing glass sound channel. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very relaxing. Crashing glass sounds. I'd like to fall asleep to that. Uh, guys, do you think I broke something? Nah. No. See, look, guys, it's three against one, so I didn't break anything. Okay, let's go check. Okay, what do I get when there's nothing broken there? Uh, $5. Okay, I'm about to get $5. Okay. Oh no! 
Oh, what happened here? Junior, this is the thing you broke. Wait, so there's not a machine that makes broken glass noises in here? No, you don't have one of those. Yes, I do. And what is all this stuff? I think it's someone's ashes. Wow, they have a serious smoking problem if they have that much ashes. But no, Junior, I mean like human ashes. Like this used to be people. Dude, this is a lot of people. All right, guys, okay, what are we going to do about this? But what are we going to do, Junior? You're the one who broke it. What? No, we all broke it because we all kicked the soccer ball. But you hit it last. No, Jeffy hit it last. No, you hit it last. Guys, it doesn't matter that Jeffy hit it last. We just have to focus on cleaning it up. So uh, I'm going to sweep up the ashes and let's put it inside a vase that looks just like it. Junior, where are we going to find a vase that looks just like this one? Hey, guys, look at this vase I found that looks just like that one. What? 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 You're grounded! But I didn't do it! Your friends ratted you out and said you did it, so you're coming with me! <laughs> Alright, Jeffy, that's it, you're grounded! But I didn't break the vase! Yes, you did! Well, I didn't break the first vase, but I broke the second vase. There was only one vase, Jeffy! No, there wasn't! There were two vases! No, so one of a kind price was handed down for generation generation of my family! Exactly, there was only one vase, Jeffy. <laughs> Guys, if there were two vases, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Prove them wrong. Jeffy, there was only one vase and you broke it because your friend said you broke it. My friends are no longer my friends anymore because they framed me. Jeffy gets framed. It's the title of the video. Jeffy, you're grounded for a month. This house is a prison. Go to your room. Daddy, I'm going to prove to you that my friends framed me. Okay, then do that then. But you're the one who broke it. <laughs> it's okay, baby. We'll, we'll go sweep it up and we'll put it in like a litter box or something. <laughs> All right, guys, what color do you think goes next? Oh, dude, totally the orange one. Oh, definitely orange. No. What's up, D-Bags? Oh, hey, Jeffy. Sorry we had to blame it on you. Because of you guys, I lost TV for a month. Ooh, that's rough. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Yeah, sorry, Jeffy. You guys better go tell my dad the truth or else I'm going to ruin all of your lives. But, but they, they already think you did it, so just take the blame on this one. So you've chosen death. I hope you guys enjoy it. Dude, what is Jeffy gonna do? Uh, I don't know. He's not gonna do anything. All right, guys, I think blue is next. No. All right, guys, I think we put them in the perfect order. <sighs> you guys cannot be serious. Well, you can't do it any better. Yeah, uh, guys, I think I'm just gonna go get Ken and go home. Wait, where'd you leave Ken at? Oh, he's on the couch downstairs. I left Ken right here. Wait, wait, what's this? If you ever want to see Ken again, admit that I didn't break the vase. Jeffy must have taken Ken. Junior, you have to go admit that you broke the vase right now. What? No, I'm not going to get grounded just so you can get your stupid dumb doll back. But Junior, I need Ken back. Well, look, nothing's going to happen to Ken. But, but what if he hurts him? Dude, he's a doll. Yeah, he's a doll. How is he going to hurt a dumb doll? He's not going to hurt him. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, down there, dude. What? Hey, Cody, there's a package here for you. But to me? But this is your house. I know, that's weird. We should open it. <clears throat> so, Cody, why did a package for you come to my house? I don't know. It's really weird. What'd you order? New glasses? <laughs> new glasses? Yeah, new glasses. Why would I order new glasses? Because you love to collect glasses and wear them. But do you think I wear glasses because I collect glasses? No, I wear glasses because my eyes don't work right. So did you order new eyes? <laughs> new eyes? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to open the box now. <clears throat> What? Oh, it's head! <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Wait, there's no more pieces of him in there? No, it's just his head! What? Junior, we have to go tell the truth right now! What? No! I'm not gonna tell the truth just because you got Ken's head! But Junior, look what he did to him! Oh, look, 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 maybe the other pieces will come in the mail. <laughs> See, look, that might be another box with another piece to him. Come on. <laughs> Hello? What, Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? We're very disappointed in you, Cody. What, what did I do? You ate a Baconator, Cody. We're Jewish. We're not supposed to eat pork. Well, I didn't eat a Baconator. Oh, yeah? Well, then why did we find this Baconator wrapper in your room, along with a note that says, ha, 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 I ate this Baconator from Wendy's? So you're going to laugh in our face. Ooh, you're going to burn in Jewish hell for that. Well, why would I leave a note about something I'm not allowed to do? Because you're just that cocky, Cody. You didn't think you'd get caught. Why couldn't you just have eaten a Dave's Double? Well, I did! I love Dave's Doubles! I get them all the time! I don't want to hear you coming home right now, okay? We're going to give you a Spankinator. <sighs> Tell the truth, Junior! Well, I don't want to get grounded! <sighs> Whoa, dude, Cody's life is ruined, just like Jeffy said! Well, do you think Jeffy's going to try to ruin our lives? Nah, I don't have parents, so I'd love to see him try. Give me your best shot. <laughs> 
Who's the door? Mm. Hello? Joseph? Mommy? Yes, I came back because I love you and I want to be a family again. Really? Yes. <gasps> <gasps> to tell the truth? Jimmy, you ruined my life! Then tell the truth! Or Jimmy, just stop doing this! Then tell the truth! Whew. Oh, man. Oh, it's really hot in that thing. All right, kid, you get my hundred bucks? Yeah, it's right here in my diaper. You can go ahead and grab it. All right, thank you. Man, you really made that guy feel pretty bad. Yeah, he got me grounded. Oh. Well, I mean, I'd feel bad if I were you, but whatever. Uh, let me know if you need anything else. I got a whole bunch more costumes. All right, thanks. Mm-mm-mm! Mm, my famous soup is almost ready! Oh, hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? Wait, why are you getting closer to me? Stop it, stop it, stop it! Ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Joseph. Dude, my whole life is ruined, just tell the truth. Well, I don't want to get grounded. Dude, just tell the truth. Junior, dinner's ready. Oh, dinner's ready. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. What did Chef Pee make me? Oh, he made you his famous soup. What? Wait, what's in this? Chef Pee Pee? What, no, I know he made the soup, but what's in this? Chef Pee Pee. Chef Pee Ooh. Ooh. You killed Chef Pee Pee! Yep, and I'm gonna keep going until you tell the truth. What? No, I want Chef Pee Pee back! Are you gonna tell the truth? Oh, yes, okay, fine! I'll go tell your dad! I'll go tell him that you didn't do it! All right, good. <laughs> oh, man, you got Junior so good. Yep, here's your hundred bucks. Thank you very much. That'll teach him a lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, you want the truth? Okay, Jimmy did not break your stupid dumb grandparents' face. I broke it. I was the last one to kick the soccer ball, and I'm the one who broke it. So ungrounded so we can stop killing our families. Mother, father, I demand an apology. Wait, so Jeffy, you did not break that vase? Nope. Well, I broke the second one, but not the first one. So your friends lied? Yes, they framed me. Wait, the title of the video. Jeffy gets framed. We should have paid attention. Yeah, I've been telling you guys that. Well, Jeffy, we're sorry for grounding you. We just we just thought you did it. Now kiss my hand. Kiss your hand? Kiss my hand. <sighs> Ow! Now don't you ever try to take my TV away from me again. <sighs> now, which one of you is going to go sweep up Grandma and Grandpa? <laughs> Jeffy, are you ready for school? Sure I am, Daddy. What, Jeffy, what'd you do to your shirt? I cut it up because I wanted it to look like Swiss cheese. Jeffy, you can't go to school like that. Yeah, they're going to send you home for having holes in your shirt. Darn, didn't know that was going to happen. You're still going to school, Jeffy. But I don't have a shirt to wear. Sure you do, Jeffy. I got you this shirt for Christmas. It has a turtle on it, and it says, Turtly cool! Oh, that's so sick, Mommy. I want you to put it on right now. <laughs> All right, Mommy. How do I look? You look turtly cool, Jeffy. Damn right I do. All right, Jeffy. Let's go to school. Danny, everyone's going to be so jealous of my new shirt, I'm going to pull major hose. Oh, that's good, Jeffy. Come on. Hey, idiot, what happened to your old shirt? Did you wipe your butt with it? You're just jealous you don't have a cool shirt that has words on it. Oh, yeah? What's it say? It actually says, turtle and cool, and it has a little turtle with sunglasses on it. <laughs> it should say that you're returtled, or, or returned. Yeah, that's it. You're returned. <laughs> My mommy told me that I was turtle and cool. <laughs> Your mommy dresses you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want this stupid shirt anymore. <laughs> well, calm down, Incredible Hulk. Well, wait a minute. You don't have any nipples. Hey, everybody. Jeffy doesn't have nipples. <laughs> it's not my fault I was born without nipples. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeffy, why'd you take your shirt off? Because I thought that shirt was going to make girls give me major treatment, but all it did was get me made fun of. They made fun of your shirt, Jeffy? Yeah, because apparently it's not cool to be turtly cool. They called me retarded. <laughs> Marvin. Well, it's funny. Those kids are just mean, Jeffy. Well, I'm never wearing that shirt ever, 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 ever again. That's okay, Jeffy. I got you another shirt, and it says Mommy really loves me, and it has two whales hugging. You really want me to get made fun of, don't you, Mommy? Oh, it's cute, Jeffy. Is it gonna make girls turn into bobbleheads? I don't know about that, Jeffy, but go ahead and put it on. Okay, Mommy. I'll wear it tomorrow, but it better not get me made fun of. 
<laughs> I see you got your old shirt back. Wait, that's not your old shirt. That's a new shirt. What's it say? Nothing. I want to know what your shirt says. No. No, show me your shirt. I'm not showing you my shirt. What does your shirt say? It says, my mommy Whaley loves me and it has a whale on it. <laughs> my mommy Whaley loves me? That's Whaley lame. Well, at least my mommy loves me. <laughs> well, what, is your mommy a whale? Hey, everybody, Jeffy's mom's a whale. <laughs> yeah, your mom's a whale. Shut up, Cody. Your mom's a whale. <sighs> I was just really glad the joke wasn't about me for once. <laughs> you gonna go to the ocean and see your mommy? <laughs> That's it! I'm tired of this! <laughs> <laughs> what, are you gonna go kiss your mom's big whale lips? <laughs> it happened again! They made fun of your shirt again, Jeffy? Yeah, and they called you a whale, mommy! What? <laughs> Marvin! You eat a lot of Cheetos, baby. Marvin! Oh, look, uh, Jeffy, your mom got you another shirt. I did! It says hanging with mommy and has two slots. Oh, absolutely not. I'm done with shirts. They want to bully me? I'm going to become the bully now. Oh, this is not going to be good. <laughs> hey, loser, what's with the new look? Your balls finally drop? <laughs> hey, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get off. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. No, no, oh no, he, he pulled my underwear up over my face. Oh god, I have two new stains on it. This is so gross and embarrassing. I'm gonna get pink eye. <laughs> Anyone else want some? Huh? Cody called your mom a whale. What, Junior? No, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yes, Daddy. Uh, he gave me a wedgie. Should have pulled harder. Ha ha, Cody, you have rainbow pony underwear? Junior, they're not underwear, they're panties. Oh my god, I have those. Can I smell them? Ew. No, Junior, you're gross. Jeffy, stop worrying everyone. Go to the principal's office now. Jeffy, what are you doing? Jeffy, 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 oh, Jeffy, why do you pull my underwear over my face? Ew, I got doodle stain. Ring, ring doesn't do my laundry. Ah! Hey, Jeffy, how was school? Shut up, nerd. Jeffy! What'd you call me? Nerd, because you are one. What, what, what are you doing? Jeffy, what are you doing? <laughs> he, he put my underwear on my face. Jeffy! That is it, Jeffy. You are grounded. Oh, you're, you're going to ground me? I'm going to show you grounded. What? Jeffy, what are you doing? Giving you a swirling, nerd. Wait, what? Jeffy, if you put my head in that toilet, you would just... <laughs> oh, Jeffy, dear God, please help me. <laughs> you had enough yet? I've had enough. I've had enough. All right. <laughs> Marvin, what's wrong? Jeffy gave me a swirly. He what? He put my head in the toilet. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because he's a nerd. Jeffy, that's not how we act. We treat others the way we want to be treated. Well, everyone wants to bully me, so now I'm going to be the bully. So no one mess with me. Marvin, what do we do? I'm calling the cops. He assaulted me with my underwear and a toilet. Hey there, somebody call the police? I heard an old lady say that at the barber shop today. She called me the police. I like that. I'm gonna say that from now on. Police. So what do you need? My son is bullying me. He gave me a swirly and he put my underwear over my eyes. <laughs> classic. Not classic, he's assaulting me. Well, I know how to deal with that kind of situation. You do? Oh yeah, I used to get bullied a lot in high school. Let me tell you a story. I always get bullied by this guy named Trevor. He used to call me names like Brace Face, you know, because I wore braces at the time. And he used to pull my pants down in front of all the cheerleaders. And they would all laugh at me and say, ha ha, tiny. So one day, I decided to get revenge on him by pulling his pants down in front of the cheerleaders. And boy, did that backfire, because he he was hung like a horse. All the girls liked him, even Miss Jenkins. I, I, I had a crush on her. She was kind of a hot teacher. But anyway, me and Trevor became friends after that because I helped him get so many girls by pulling his pants down. So I guess the moral of this story is what you should do is pull Jeffy's pants down in class. No, that don't do that. That's not right. That's that's not what I meant at all. Okay, okay, okay. Better example, better example. Okay, I also used to get bullied by this guy named Travis. Now, Travis was a real freak. He put a wasp nest in my backpack. So whenever I opened my backpack, a bunch of wasps flew out and they started stinging me. So I ran around the classroom taking my clothes off. And then everybody just pointed at me and laughed and said, ha ha, tiny. So I wanted to get revenge on him. So the next day, I put a wasp nest in his backpack. And then when he opened his backpack, he got stung by wasps and he ran around the class taking his clothes off. And boy, did that backfire because he was Packing. All the girls liked him. Oh, yeah. Except we didn't become friends because he was pissed that I put a wasp nest in his backpack. So the moral of this story is you should put a wasp nest in Jeffy's backpack. No, don't, don't do that either. That was... Okay, that sucks too. Okay, 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 okay. 
But last example, this one's gonna be good. This will make sense, I promise. Okay, so I also used to get bullied by this guy named Trent, and we rode the bus together. So what he would do was put gum in my hair, which sucked because then I'd have to shave my head to get the gum out, and then everybody would laugh at me and say, ha ha, baldy, and also tiny, you know, because they remembered from when I get pants and the whole thing with the wasps. So I wanted to get revenge on him. So what I did was I put gum in his hair, and he had to shave his head. And then the next day, he got hit by a car, and I felt kind of bad. So I went to visit him in the ICU, and I walked in when they were changing his body cast, and he was packing. I mean, all of the nurses wanted to help him. So the moral of this story is, you should push Jeffy in front of a car. No, 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 don't. Oh, man. I'll, I'll admit, I, I, I'm not the right guy for this. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. No, no, no. Let me just talk to him, and I'll explain to him why bullying people is wrong. Oh, okay. Hey, champ, what are you doing? Writing hate comments on SML videos. Oh, but they work so hard. But they won't bring back their plushies. Oh, well, they can't do that. Uh, look, I wanted to talk to you about something. What do you want, loser? Oh, okay, so you're already starting with the name calling. Now, I know the only reason you're doing that is because you're just lashing out because you don't know how else to express yourself. Well, you're ugly. Okay, that one kind of hurt a little bit. But look, what I wanted to say is that I used to be just like you. I, I mean, I wasn't cross-eyed like that, but I, I did get bullied a lot. You did? Oh, yeah, I get bullied all the time. And you know how I got over it? I found out that everybody was packing. Uh, I don't really know why. But then, when I grew up, I became a cop, so I can bully whoever I want. It's my job to bully people. You going too fast? Boom! Speeding ticket. Speeding tickets are my swirlies. So, wh what I'm trying to say is I know that deep down, you know that bullying is wrong, right? <laughs> Well, that didn't work. Oh no, he did it to you too? Yeah, the only thing I learned here is I gotta start wiping better. Well, what do we do now, officer? Yeah, what do we do? I don't know. He's probably just going through a phase. I'm sure he'll grow out of it. Or he'll end up in prison. He might be packing. I don't know. I'm just gonna go. No, don't go. We need your help. We really need your help. Well, I've done everything I can do, and I don't want my face to end up in your toilet again. Look, I have an idea that'll, that'll get him to stop bullying people. Wait, really? Yeah, let me show you. Well, I won't be able to see it, because I got underwear in my eyes. Oh. Thank you, but I would wash my hands if I were you. All right, we're all gonna wear these shirts, and when Jeffy sees them, he's gonna bully us for wearing these shirts, and he's gonna realize he's became what he hated most, being a bully. I hate this shirt. I look like a dingus. Aw, it's cute. Hanging with mommy. I hate my mother. I would never hang with her. I also hate sloths. They're all lanky and they're creepy and I hate them. Look, you only have to wear the shirt for like a few minutes for Jeffy to see you. Yeah, so he can make fun of us and then shove my face in the toilet again and then put my poopy underwear in my face? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. No, he's gonna realize that he's a bully and he's not gonna wanna be a bully anymore. Jeffy, get in here! What do you losers want? Don't hurt me! Oh god, no, please! Well, just, just, Jeffy, look at our shirts! Look at our shirts! Turtly cool? That's retarded. Well, look, Jeffy, look. You just bullied me the same way you used to get bullied in school. <gasps> You're right. What have I become? I've become the same thing I swore to destroy. I'm like Darth Vader. Diaper. Diaper. I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't want to be a bully. I was just tired of people bullying me. It's okay, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy, as long as you promise you won't bully anyone ever again. Yeah, Daddy, I won't bully anyone ever again. <laughs> I bet you. Ma can I borrow $50 so I can get me some chicken from the KFC? KFC does not cost $50, Dougie. It does when you buy lops of it. Why do you need a lot of it? Because it's so really good. Well, I don't have $50, Dougie. I'm trying to watch TV, so go away. Whopper, 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 Whopper. Mickey D's is definitely better, but they're paying me to make this song at BK. Cause there is no way you're actually eating here. Man, that commercial really made me want to go get some McDonald's. Well, if you go into McDonald's, can you run through KFC and give me the family sized chicken with the business and the macaroni and cheese? No, Dougie, how about you get a job and make your own money? Well, I can't get a job because I'm a felon. How'd you become a felon? Well, there was this one time I had a job working at the cash register and a man just said that the security cameras ain't work. So I stole $1,000 out the register and come to find out the security cameras did work and they caught me red hand dips and, and when they was arresting me I said I thought you guys said that the security cameras ain't work and the man just said it was a trap so now no one will hire me well Dougie it sounds like it's your problem well I just want some KFC I wish there was a way I could get free KFC for ebbs and ebbs and ebbs well I don't see that happening Dougie breaking news 
UK, KFC is offering free chicken for life to anyone who can make them a new theme song that includes their new five piece chicken meal for $4.99. You gotta be kidding me. You see that, Mom Bips? I prayed to God and he answered. That's how I'm gonna get my free chicken for life. But Dougie, you don't know how to make music. Yes, I do. All I got to do is write a kitchen jingle about how I love chicken so really good. But Dougie, you don't know how to make a song. Yes, I do. I just need a piece of pie bips and a pims. I'm gonna go grab it. All right, my bills, I'm gonna start writing the lyrics to my song. I like chicken so good. How do you spell chicken? See, you don't even know how to write, Dougie. Oh, so you're saying I should freestyle it. Good idea, my bills. I'm gonna get the microphone. All right, my bibs, I got everything set up so I can record now. Well, can you record in another room? I'm trying to watch TV. No, I want to do it in here so you can tell me if it's good or not. <sighs> All right, I'm going to start up the program. KFC is really, really good. 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 KFC, I love that chicken. It's so greasy, but finger licking. Breast in the thigh ain't talking about chicken. Back on topic, cause now I'm sipping. Slap my chicken, I stay pipping. Barbecue sauce, I'm straight dipping. Gold chain on, cause I be dripping. Full cup of soda, that Pepsi, I'm sipping. Tennis and breast, don't forget my side. If you got money, come along for the ride. Chicken is good, so hard to find. If you can't taste it, then your tongue is blind. Sauce and bitches better be in the bag, or I'll turn around so fast, no lag. Crazy for the cock, but I ain't no fat. Hey, where'd the beat go? All oh, there it is. It came back, unlike my daddy. Anyway, KFC, five piece, four ninety nine. Go buy it, cause it really, really, so really good. What do you think about that, Ma Bips? I don't think KFC is gonna want you to rob about those inappropriate things. Well, I'ma submit it. <sighs> All right, I just sent it to the KFC emails. <laughs> Who's that? Well, hold on, let me answer the door, Dougie. Hello? Hey, uh, is Dougie here? Who? Uh, oh, your boy Dougie? Yeah, yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, well, uh, I'm here from KFC Corporate. I'm here because I heard that dope-ass song he made. Uh, yeah, yeah, that shit was straight gas. Uh, uh, uh the fossil fuels. Who, who let him cook? My, my compliments to the chef. I'm trying to say I liked his song. Oh, did he win the competition? Well, no, but I, I do want to talk to him. Oh, he's upstairs. Okay, so can I talk? Oh, all right. Um. Hey, Dougie, this guy from KFC is here to talk to you. Oh, did I win the competitions? Well, not quite, but I can tell you your song was one of the dankest. Well, what's I supposed to do to win? Well, you see, this other guy submitted a song that might even be danker than yours. No way. Unfortunately, yes way, and I'm afraid he might actually win. Why do you care if he wins? Well, I was really hoping we could rig the competition so Dougie could win. Why would you want Dougie to win the competition? So he can split his free fried chicken with me. I love KFC chicken. You work for KFC. Don't you get free chicken? No, they don't actually let us eat the chicken. Not of a since this one guy stole a bunch of money out of the cash register. Hey, wait a minute! I'm so sorry. Now you definitely owe me chicken. Well, do we even have to rig the competition? Like, is the other guy's song even good? Is it good? Is the movie 80 for Brady good? No, it's fucking atrocious. Just stick to football, Tom. But uh, yeah, the other guy's song's pretty good. He even has a music video. Well, then let's watch it. What, 80 for Brady? No, thank you. I've seen it once, and that was enough. No, no, I meant the music video. Oh, oh yeah, hold on. Let me get my phone. All right, check this out. Okay, Jonathan, what do you want me to do? Wait, what is this? This is me doing the cinnamon challenge a couple years ago. All you have to do is take that spoonful of cinnamon and put it in your mouth. Well, I do like cinnamon, but Jonathan, I gotta go fight fires and figure out why I look like this. Oh, what's wrong, Brooklyn guy? You a chicken? No. What? Okay, fine, I'll do it. It can't be that bad. I mean, just cinnamon, right? Oh, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I could not stop coughing. Never try this. Oh, I thought I thought you were gonna show me the music video. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Here, here you go. Yo KFC. What's up KFC? I need some chicken. I'm hungry. Yo KFC. Where that chicken at? I need some chicken. Order, please. Yo KFC. See that chicken? What? I need some chicken. I'm order. Yo, KFC, sure extra crunchy. I need some chicken, please. Leave my chicken extra crispy, place my order, don't forget me. How many pieces you need? I had to tell the lady 50. Need my biscuit and my sausage, don't care how much that shit costs. Us. If you get my order wrong, I leave you licking like a faucet. Side of mac and cheese, don't have to tell you, please. Make sure my chicken extra crunchy when inside the grease. Got your girl on her knees, munching on chicken wings. She said it's too hot like it was 200 degrees. Ah, KFC chicken, five piece, huh? Ooh, for 4 dollars what? Who could beat that, nigga? Who could beat that? Nobody can, huh? Nigga! Man, that was really good. Yeah, a little too damn good. 
We should kill him. What? Yeah, he can't win the competition if he's dead. No, we're not gonna kill anyone over chicken. It's free chicken. How about we do something less illegal? Hmm, yeah, we should kidnap his kid and then hold his kid for ransom until he drops out of the competition. Good no, idea. No, we're not gonna kidnap a kid over chicken. It's not just chicken. It's 11 herbs and spices on the chicken. It's KFC. Okay, you, you see this man? This is Colonel Sanders. He's him. This is the face of a man who would kidnap another man's kid for some free chicken. Who knows what he would do for his chicken? How about we just re-record the song and make it better? Nah, that sounds boring. I think we should do the kidnapping. What do you think, Dougie? I'm down with it. Whatever we've got to do to get the chicken. See, that's the mentality I like. Yes, we should do the kidnapping. Now, I did my research. I know he has a son and he has a wife we could kidnap, but I think we should go for the kid because it really hits you right in the heart. Well, I don't want anything to do with this. Well, me and you have to do it, Marvin, because if Dougie gets caught, he'll be disqualified and we can't have that. I'm not kidnapping a kid. It has to just be me and you, Marvin, two normal guys with mustaches. You work for KFC. They're gonna know. They're not gonna know. Come on, Marvin. Kidnapping. Chicken. Come on! Okay, fine! Yeah, come on. All right, the kid lives here. Okay, so you want to, like, go around to his window and, like, kidnap him through his room? No, we're just going to ring the doorbell. Ring the doorbell? What if the parents answer and they call the cops? The parents aren't going to answer. Look, only three people live here. The mom, the dad, and the kid. And who always answers the door? The kid, because the parents are too lazy. What if the kid doesn't answer the door? It's going to be the kid. Don't worry, okay? I know what I'm talking about. Hello? Shit. Oh, what do you find robbers want? Uh, uh, we were just in the neighborhood, and we were wondering if your son was home. Yeah, he's home, but what do you need him for? Uh, uh we, we are with the FRA, the Future Robbers of America, and we go around recruiting kids to be robbers, and we wanted to know if your son would be interested. You know, we could take him on a rob-along, show him the ropes. That, that's why we brought this rope. Oh, I think he'd love that. Let me go get him. Cody, there's some very nice robbers at the door to see you. What, I'm sorry, what, robbers? Yeah, there's these two nice men in ski masks with rope and they want to talk to you. What? No, Mom, call the police. Now, Cody, everybody deserves second chances. And besides, they have a very wonderful opportunity for you. What, what are they selling Crime Scout cookies? No, what if they kidnap me? You're just gonna end up having to call Liam Neeson. Now, Cody, I'm not gonna ask you again. You go talk to those robbers or I'm taking away your bidet privileges. I do really like that bidet. Okay, I'll talk to him. Uh, hello? Grab him, grab him, come on, guys, man, man! All right, we got him. So what do we do now? Uh, what's going on here? Oh, we're kidnapping you. Oh, okay, I, I just want to know how many I'm going to take at once. I really wish I had a chance to shower before I came here. The pizza in the school cafeteria gives me the runs, and I don't know if anybody wants to take the water slide down the sewage plant. Well, well no, we kidnapped you so we could talk to your dad. You guys know he has a phone, right? You could have just called him. Well, yeah, 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 that, that's right. Uh, give, give us his phone number so that we can call him, and then we can tell him that if he doesn't drop out of the KFC competition, we're going to kill you. Uh, okay. Marvin, grab your phone. Wait, don't say my name. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, his, his name's not actually Marvin. His name is Gary. Marvin's his secret name. Yeah, that's not my name. Okay, you know, I'm over here all the time. I know who owns this house, and that guy's not even wearing a mask. What, Dougie, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, was I not supposed to be here? No, get out of here. Okay. And his name isn't Dougie either. No, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Mark. Yeah. Okay. M Marvin, get your phone. Oh, okay. Uh, not Marvin. No, no, uh, Gary. No, that's your... Okay, it's ringing. All right, kid, tell your dad we're gonna kill you if he doesn't drop out of that KFC competition. Okay. Hello? Uh, hey, Dad, I got kidnapped, and these guys say they're gonna kill me if you don't drop out of some kind of KFC competition? Well, I already got the chicken, because I won. <laughs> wait, wait hold, hold on, you already have the chicken? Yeah, they dropped it off right now! <laughs> oh, well, uh, well, we have your son, so if you don't give us some of that chicken, we're, we're gonna kill him. I don't care about that boy, I'll just be banging his mama! <laughs> oh, okay then. Well, sorry to bother you. Bye. Yeah, bye. Uh, well, I mean, you heard that. That dude was on speakerphone. Oh, yeah, I already knew he wasn't my dad. That's not really a surprise. Okay, well, you're gonna be cool if we just, like, let you go, right? You're not gonna tell on us? Oh, no. I'm actually into this kind of thing, so this is great for me. I I if you don't mind, I just want to stay tied up. Okay, sure. Well, we lost. So I don't get no chicken? No, we lost the competition. <sighs> yeah. Who wants to go to Popeye's? Oh, I love me some poop. Yeah, Popeye's is pretty good. Yeah, I like Popeye's. Okay, everybody, hop on my big, long, invisible horse. Thank you for taking us out to eat, Chef PeePee. Yeah, I didn't feel like cooking tonight, so it's my treat. Uh, my food was raw, and I ate half of it before I noticed, so now I'm worried I'm gonna get sick. Would anyone like a Takara box? No, I don't need one. Uh, hey, my food was raw, so is there anything we could do about it? I need one! But well, Joseph, you barely touched your food! Yeah, you only took two bites! What's wrong with you, Joseph? Well, when you're homeless like me, you gotta shave for every bite. I'm gonna eat it later! Uh, guys, I'm starting to feel kinda sick. Ah, uh, here you are, sir. 
Oh man, I can't wait to eat this later. <laughs> wow, wasting a perfectly good meal, Cody. It was a perfectly good meal. I wouldn't be throwing it up. Hey, Chef Pee, how can you afford to take us all out to eat? That's the thing, guys. I can't. Run, Gears! <laughs> so, how are you going to want to pay? Oh, bonus! They died and dashed! Someone call the police! <laughs> Chef Pee, you didn't pay? Of course I didn't pay. That place is too expensive. We just can't eat there ever again. I don't want to eat there again. My food was raw. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm kind of hungry. So let me eat my burger. <laughs> but Joseph, what happened to your food? I don't know, dude. That's crazy. Uh. I can't believe you, dude. Yeah, that was you, Cody. What? You just burped. That's your stomach bragging that you just ate all of Joseph's food. No, I just had to burp. No, you were so upset about your peak ass burger that you ate my burger. Well, I didn't eat your burger. It all makes sense, Cody. You were mad about your food at the restaurant, so when we weren't looking, you shoveled all of Joseph's food in your mouth like a fatty. What? No, I didn't. You're just like your mom, a big fat whale cow. Yeah, you obese ogre. Yeah, big fat ogre. Well, I didn't eat your food. No, no, you're just like your mom. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, so your mom eats all the apples because she's fat, and then she picks her teeth with a tree like a toothpick. Ha, fatty McFat fat. So fat. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't eat Joseph's food. But then, then where's his food at? Well, I don't know. Maybe it fell out. Into your mouth because yeah. you're fat. Yeah. Well, or maybe maybe he picked up the wrong box. That's exactly what a fat person who eats someone's to-go box would say. Fat excuses. Yeah, big fat excuses. Well, okay, what, what what can I do to prove it? Well, let, me, let me smell your breath. What, well, why? Because then I can smell that you ate Joseph's food. But we all had the same food. It's going to smell the same. No, Joseph's burger smelled different. Let me smell. Okay. Oh, it smells like Joseph's burger. I knew it. Mm -hmm. I knew it. <laughs> So fat. I didn't eat your goddamn burger. Okay, then go step on a scale. What? I want to weigh you. If you weigh like you have two burgers in your belly, then that, that means you ate it. What, you don't even know how much I weighed before I ate. You look super fat right now. You look like a chipmunk with all the burgers in your cheeks. What, what are you talking about? Look, come to the scale. Come on. Admit it. All right, Cody, step on the scale. This isn't going to prove anything. It's going to prove that your belly's full of hamburgers because you're the hamburglar. Okay, fine. There, I weigh about 50 pounds. 50 pounds? Wow! Oh, you're so many hamburgers in that belly. Well, I didn't eat your burger. If you admit it now, I won't be mad. Well, you shouldn't be mad because I didn't eat it. The fact that he keeps lying makes me sad. Oh, Joseph. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> it's going to be okay, Joseph. No, it's not, dude. He can't even admit that he ate my burger. Okay, guys, that's it. I've had enough. Oh, now you've had enough? You didn't have enough when you ate the food at the restaurant. You didn't have enough when you ate Joseph's food out of his to-go box. Why is it enough now? Oh, my God, guys. What am I going to have to do to prove I didn't eat we can give you the fat test. Wait, what is the fat test? The fat exam, or the FAT. What is the FAT? The FAT is the fat ass test. It tests how fat you are. Well, okay, fine, I'll take the FAT. Joseph, grab the Butterfingers. <gasps> Not the Butterfinger, dude! Yep, the Butterfingers, grab it. Oh, okay. What is the Butterfinger for? No fat person can resist a Butterfinger, so we're gonna put the Butterfingers in the to-go box, and you have to resist yourself from eating it. Okay, I'm just not gonna eat it. No fat person can resist a Butterfinger, dude! Yeah, you're gonna grab that to-go box, and you're gonna start eating the Butterfinger. I'm not gonna eat it. Okay, we'll see. He's reaching for it! Oh, he's so fat! He's reaching for it! Well, no, I wasn't reaching. I was just sitting down. Oh, no, no, no. You're just trying to sneak your hand into the to-go box so you can grab the Butterfinger. Well, no, you know what? I'm just going to stand all the way over here. Oh, okay. You're going you're to try to go around the couch and go behind our backs and eat the Butterfinger. No, I'm not going to eat the Butterfinger because I didn't eat the burger. When would I even have had time to eat the burger? I was too busy throwing up and running away. You're from just the trying to monologue so we fall asleep so then you can grab your hand inside the to-go box and eat the Butterfinger. I'm not going to eat it. Oh, yeah? Well, Joseph, I'm showing the Butterfinger. It's right here. Maybe just... Oh! You already ate it! I knew it! What? How would I even eat it? Well, maybe you use your mind, your tele fat and mind to, yeah. to, to like to like teleport it into your stomach. But I can't just absorb food with my brain. But your stomach can absorb food with its fatness. What? No, guys, I didn't eat it. This is weird. I don't even know what happened. Oh, then where did the Butterfinger go, Cody? I, I don't know. Maybe the box can like teleport stuff inside it. Oh, well, if the box can teleport stuff, why, why don't it teleport me next to a model in the shower? Yeah, yeah, maybe it only works if I close it. Huh? Where am I? Oh, my sweet Jesus. Oh, let's go! See, look, Cody, Joseph is inside the to-go box. He's not teleporting anywhere. You can come out now, Joseph. Ah! He's gone! Where did Joseph go? How is this even possible? Did you eat him, you fatty? No, shut up, Junior. This is serious. Joseph just disappeared. How could that happen? Well, Junior, it is a to-go box. Maybe it teleports you anywhere you want to go. To-go box? It's called that because it takes you where you want to go. SML movie, the to-go box. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. Oh, oh wait, so, so you're telling me that Joseph teleported into a shower with a supermodel? No way. Oh, hey, guys. But Joseph, where have you been? I saw cans. It teleported you to a grocery store? No, your friend got arrested for being a peeping Tom because he got in the shower with a supermodel. Well, no, it's not his fault, officer. He got teleported from this to-go box. What are you kids on, smack or something? You're talking crazy. No, really, officer, he's telling the truth. Yeah. 
I sat in this to-go box and it teleported me there. Oh, really? If this to-go box really teleports people, then I want to be in the shower with a supermodel. Nothing's happening. Well, I have to close it. What the? What, where am I? What, oh, my sweet Jesus. Um, hey, could you pass the soap? Oh, my God! You guys think it worked? Yeah, dude, it worked for me. Oh, man, you kids were not lying. She was pissed. Oh, but man, was she hot, though. Officer, why do you think this to-go box teleports us places? I don't know. You guys got some kind of crazy alien to-go box technology. Honestly, I just destroy it. Nobody should have that much power. All right, we'll destroy it right now. Oh, man, my ugly wife is calling me. Hello? Ugly? Why? Oh, you heard that, huh? Well, what's up, Karen? Boydie, I sort of kind of started a fire in the kitchen. How'd you manage that, Karen? I was cooking. Why would you even attempt that? We both know you're bad at it. Because I was really hungry, Boydie. Oh, why didn't you just eat a Lunchable? Boydie, it's a mess. I need you to come home and cook dinner. You have to do laundry, too, and give me a back rub, because my back hurts. Why does your back hurt? What did you do today? Well, I just woke up, and I need you to feed the four puppies, too. We don't have puppies, Karen. Oh, I adopted puppies today, and they peed all over the house, so you need to clean that up when you get home. <sighs> okay. I want to go to Hawaii. What, you want to go, what? Close the box! Uh, okay. Oh, man, I am in paradise. Nope, not answering my phone. You guys think he's enjoying Hawaii? I know I would. Yeah, he probably is, but we should still destroy this thing like the cops said. You're right, Cody, let's destroy it. No, we can't, dude. We have our own teleportation device. Let's use it, let's have fun. You're right, Joseph. When are we ever gonna get a teleportation device again? We should have fun and go places we'll never go. <gasps> we could go to Disney World in Tokyo. <gasps> dude, I love Asian Mickey Mouse. He loved you a long time. What? Well, Cody, come on, let's go have fun. Well, guys, this thing is dangerous. How is it dangerous, Cody? Or well, what if we teleport somewhere bad? Like what, your mom's bedroom while she's getting dressed? <laughs> We'll see a big fat whale naked. Oh! Yeah, like that. Come on, Cody. We can teleport you to a buffet so you can keep eating food, you fatty. What, do you guys still think I ate Joseph's food after all of this? You guys are idiots. Come on, Cody. Why don't we teleport to the moon and we can jump around in zero gravity? Oh, that'd be fun, dude. You would die. How would we die? People have been to the moon before and haven't died. Well, there's no air. We'll hold our breath. Well, even if you could hold your breath that long, you'd still freeze to death in space. We can wear jackets. Duh. Well, I don't think you guys understand how cold space is. We'll wear two jackets. You idiot. Well, okay, fine, Gina. Go to the moon. Do it. No, I don't want to go anymore. Why? Because you know you're going to die? No, because you ruined it. I don't, I don't want to go to the moon anymore. It's stupid. Okay, whatever. Dude, dude. If this could teleport us anywhere, it could take me to meet my dad. <gasps> You've never met your dad before. And it could find your dad for you and take you to your dad. I know, dude. Like, he abandoned me when I was little, so I could just pop up on him, and, and maybe we could, like, play basketball together or something. Oh, my God. You have to get in there. Okay, okay take him to your dad. <gasps> Come on. Take me to my dad. Huh? Wait, where am I? <laughs> dad! <laughs> I'm trapped in a coffin! Somebody get me out! Guys! Guys! Help! 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 Do you think he's with his dad? Yeah, I bet they're laughing and giggling and hugging and having the best time. Yeah, I bet they are. All right, Cody, where do you want to go? I'm not going anywhere in that damn thing. But why not? You don't want to go see your mom? Why would I see my mom? I already know where she is. She's at home. No, she's in the deep blue sea because she's a whale. Oh my god, Junior, stop with the mom jokes. Okay, I'll be done for the day. Hmm. Ooh, I know where I want to go. What if I teleport inside a bank vault and I grab all the money and bring it back here? Well, you would have no way of getting back. Oh, you're right. <gasps> what if I tie a string around me, and then and then I go to the bank, and then you pull me back with the string? Well, that might work. I, I don't know. Uh, are you sure you want to try it? I mean, if you get caught in the vault trying to steal money, you're going to be in big trouble. Well, that's why you're going to pull me back with the string! Uh, if you say so. I'm going to get the string. All right, Cody, so the string is wrapped around me. So I'm going to go in the to-go box, I'm going to go to a bank, you're going to count to ten, and then you're going to pull me out, and I'm going to have millions of dollars. Okay, count to ten, then I pull you out. Got it. All right. To-go box, take me to a bank with a lot of money. Oh my god, it worked! Look at all this money! Cody, we're so rich! Alright, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Uh, oh good, it's Junior. Hello? You let go of the string! I didn't let go, it broke off! Oh yeah, likely story. You're just mad at me because I called you fat, so you're trying to get payback by making me stranded in this vault. Well no, your side of the string teleported away with you. You're supposed to hold on to it! I did, but it broke in hell. Cody, you have to do something. I don't want to go to jail. Look, look, teleport me like a, a, a blanket. A blanket? Why? It's cold in here. Well, Junior, I really don't know how to help you. Ooh, ooh, can you teleport me some snacks, like some Skittles or like 
Ooh, a Butterfinger. What, Junior, I don't think that's gonna help. Oh, oh no, the alarm going off. They, they found me, Cody. Uh, I gotta go. Oh man. Breaking news, MK. A kid has been arrested after breaking into a safe and trying to steal all the money. Wow, can today get any worse? There he is. That's the guy that died in dust. Got him. No, come on. I didn't even like your stupid food. Take me somewhere. Take me somewhere, anywhere. So, guys, what do you want to do this weekend? I don't know, dude. We have the whole weekend to ourselves. We can do whatever we want. I can't. I gotta go somewhere. Where are you going, nerd? Well, my parents are sending me to straight camp because they want me to be straight. They're sending you to straight camp? Yeah, so I need you guys to watch Ken for the weekend. Why do we have to watch Ken? Well, I can't bring my boyfriend to straight camp. And I might try to get some strange. You can't do that, Cody. They're not gonna let you. Junior, it's a whole camp full of gay dudes who don't want to be straight. And they're gonna pile us all in the same cabin, all sleeping in the same room. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be like fishing with dynamite. It's not even gonna be fair. I could close my eyes, throw a dart, and hit a bullseye. I'm like Gary goddamn Anderson. Well, have fun, buddy. Okay, Cody, come on. Let's go get you straightened out. Mom, if you think that stupid camp is gonna get me to stop liking Wiener, you're wrong. Boys, we recently found out that Cody liking men is a sin, so we're trying to stop it. <laughs> Good luck with that. I'm a Wiener holly. I don't doubt that. Okay, Junior, a few more things about Ken. Uh, he's gonna want two ham and cheese Hot Pockets in the morning. Only give him one. You're not a fatty, Ken. Oh, yeah, and I need you to brush his teeth four times a day. How else do you think his teeth stay so white? Because it's painted on. Shut up, Joseph! Oh, and I need you to brush his hair, too. I mean, how else do you think his hair stays so nice? Because it's glued on. Shut up, Joseph! Oh, and I need you to iron his clothes, because how else do you think his clothes stay so unwrinkled? Because it's stitched on, dude! Shut up, Joseph! Uh, oh, yeah, and I need you to make sure he works out, too, because how else do you think he keeps his washboard abs? He's a dog, dude! He, no, 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 Oh, yeah, and, and Junior, I need you to read him The Great Gatsby before bed every night. I know, it's a pain in the ass, but it helps him sleep. And don't even think about letting him read Beowulf. It's too sexy. Oh, yeah, and no Ryan Reynolds movies either, because I once asked him if he had a hall pass to smash any celebrity he wanted, who would it be? And he said Ryan Reynolds, and I don't want him getting any ideas. Okay, Cody, come on. Hold on, Mom. <laughs> See, this is what we're trying to stop. If you didn't like that, Mom, that was just an appetizer for the golden corral of man-ass I'm going to be munching on. Dude, are we really gonna watch this stupid doll? No, we're not gonna watch Ken. It's stupid. He's a stupid doll, and we don't even need to watch him. We're just gonna leave him right there the whole weekend. Oh, dude, I got an idea. How about we play catch with Ken? We can't play catch with Ken. He can't catch a ball. Dude, we play catch with Ken. Ken is the ball. Oh, you mean play catch with Ken. Duh. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, Joseph, you ready to catch Ken? Yeah, dude, make sure you throw it far. Okay. Uh, no, dude, that's too far. Aw, oh, man, the lawnmower died. I guess I need more gas. Oh, my God, Joseph, is Ken destroyed? I don't know, dude. Let me check. Oh, he's perfectly fine. Not a scratch on him. That was close. Yeah, that was way too close, Joseph. I don't think we should play with Ken anymore. Yeah, you're right, dude. How about we just go swimming? That's perfectly safe. Yeah, let's just go swimming. Water is safe. Let's go. Yeah. Ah, I love swimming, Joseph. Oh, dude, it's so fun. Well, I'm surprised you can swim, Joseph. <laughs> me too. <laughs> look, I'm Cody's mom. I'm a whale. <laughs> dude, oh, look, I'm a Titanic victim. Ah, my boat's sinking and I'm drowning. Save me, Jack. Ah. That's so funny. Wait, hey, Joseph, you think Ken is safe? Dude, we're in a pool and he's right there. Nothing bad can happen. Wait, wait dude, is that a shark? Oh, what? Oh, hey, it's a Ken. Dude, what are we going to do? We have to get him. <laughs> All right, Joseph, I got Ken. Oh, dude, let's get out of here. <laughs> Joseph, where'd that shark come from? I don't know, dude. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, let's just do nothing but save things the whole weekend. Yeah, like eat. Yeah, like I'm hungry. <laughs> hey, Chef Pee, Pee, can you make us something to eat? Yeah, sure, Junior. Just hold on a second. I need to flambe this pop tart real quick. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Boom! Flame it up, flame it up, flame it up! Yeah, Joseph, maybe I should keep Ken away from this. Yeah, dude. Okay, Joseph, we have to put Ken somewhere safe because too many dangerous things are happening to him. I know, dude, but where? Uh, ooh, we could put him in my mailbox because it's illegal to go through people's mail so no one will mess with him. Oh, dude, that's smart. Yeah, that's smart. You know what? No one breaks the law these days. That's a genius idea. Yeah, let's go. Okay, Joseph, put him in the mailbox. All right, dude, I got you. Uh, come on! What's wrong? Dude, it won't budge. Well, pull it. Okay, dude. Uh, Ken! No! No! Uh, is he okay? Ken, why the fuck are you in the road? Are you trying to get paid? Because I have the best lawyers, so you're not getting shit. Uh, is Ken okay? Uh, I think so. Can you grab him? Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, 
Ooh. Okay, this is way too close. Let's just take Ken inside and put him on the bed. Yeah, you're right, dude. Let's go. Dude, I hate that Cody asked us to watch his stupid doll for him. I know it sucks, but yeah. I think you should let me hold Ken. What? Why? Because I can't trust you with him. Well, dude, is it because I'm black? No, it's just because every time you hold him, something bad almost happens to him. Well, you don't want to almost got him ran over by a lawnmower. You almost got him ran over by a car. You told me to put it in the mailbox. I was just doing what you asked. Just let me hold him. No, no, I got it. Let, I got let me it. hold him. Dude! Time to put these in the wood chipper. Oh, get in there, you buggers. No way, I need that. What, you collect sticks? No, the doll. Oh, there is a doll in there, isn't he? Oh, he beat me. What? Yeah, he, he could have been fed to the chipper. I'm, I'm, let me get him. Oh, he's stuck in there. Tight little room, isn't it? All right, dude, toss Ken on the bed since you don't trust me, your best friend. Well, I don't want to toss him on that bed because that's where Chef Pee sleeps. So I'm going to toss him on the top bunk. Okay, then, whatever works, dude. All right. Dude, why did you throw him in the ceiling fan? I didn't mean to. I was trying to toss him on the top bunk. The ceiling fan got in the way. You obviously were trying to take off his head. No, listen, Joseph. Everything we do, Ken almost gets destroyed. So I think we should just put him on the couch and not touch him all weekend. Yeah, you're right. That's a good plan, dude. All right. Ken is going to sit right there all weekend and we're not going to touch him. Yeah, I'm not touching him at all. He better not move. Yeah, so we can do all the fun things we want and we don't have to worry about him. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Woo! Hold on. My phone's ringing. Oh, yeah. Hello? Hey, Junior. Hey, Cody, what's going on? I'm coming home. Already? Yeah, I got kicked out of straight camp for skiing. It was a snow resort? No, I just got caught skiing with two other boys. You know, one on each side. I don't get it. Well, think about what you do with your hands when you're skiing. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I'm a freak, yeah. And I also think I turned one of the counselors gay. We were having a hot dog eating contest and we ran out of hot dogs, but I didn't stop. <laughs> My nickname at this camp is the Glizzy Goblin. Well, that's really cool. So how's Ken doing? Oh, Ken's doing great. Not one time today did he almost get destroyed. Not one time. That's really good to hear, Junior. Can I talk to him? How would you talk to him? Well, just put the phone up to his ear. He's a doll. <sighs> Here. Hey, baby, how's it going? What? What? Oh, no. Give the phone back to Junior. What's going on? Junior, what's this I hear about Ken getting bit by a shark? Dude, how do you know that? Uh, where'd you hear that from? Ken just told me. Well, he didn't get bit by a shark. He's a doll. Uh, he didn't get bit by a shark. We were watching Jaws, so I don't know how you heard that. But Junior, you're not supposed to let him watch scary movies. Only I can do that, so that when he gets scared, he puts his head under the covers while I'm not wearing pants. Oh, well, you didn't say we couldn't watch Jaws. You said not to watch Ryan Reynolds movies. Well, I guess that's true. I did say that. But he's going to have nightmares now, and I'm going to have to be the big spoon. It's so lame. Well, look, when are you coming back? Well, I should be back any minute. I, I'm about to pull up. Okay, well, we'll see you in a minute. All right, well, tell my sweet little buttercup cake pants that I love him. All right, is that me? No, it's Ken. Oh, okay, oh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, Cody's gonna be here any minute. Yeah, thank God, I'm tired of watching that stupid doll. Yeah, me too. Joseph! What? What happened to Ken's legs? Oh, God, I didn't notice that. Dude, I was standing right by you. Okay, I was on the phone. What happened, Joseph? Dude, I don't know. Maybe a raccoon took his legs? Did you see a raccoon? No. So then why would you say that? Where did they go? I he don't know, dude. When, when I put Ken on the phone, he had legs. There's no way he just doesn't have legs now. Bro, I'm clueless. I was what? right by you. Oh, no, that's Cody at the door. All right, try, try to find some legs. What? what where am I going to find legs from, dude? I just try. Oh, my God. I'm a stall. Hello? Cody, what are you doing here? I'm here to pick up Ken. Remember the conversation we just had on the phone? Did we just talk on the phone? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. So I'm just going to come in and get Ken. Well, hold on. Don't you want to leave Ken here for the weekend and have the weekend to yourself? No, uh, that straight camp made me real hungry for G.I. Joe crotch plate. Oh, well, Ken had a really amazing time here. He doesn't want to leave. Mm, I don't like the sound of that. I don't want him having too much fun without me. I'm going to have to spank that little tush. Well, didn't you say you were hungry? Why don't you go to McDonald's and get your free medium french fry? You haven't had that in forever. Well, that's true, but I get, I get kind of tired of french fries. Well, how about you go grab some? Uh, no, I, I, I don't think so. I think I'll take Ken with me after. No, how about you grab some french fries and surprise Ken with them? Well, I don't want Ken eating french fries. He's on a no-carb diet. He only gets one cheat meal a day, and that's his hot pocket in the morning. Oh. Well, you know what? My, my dad just yelled and said that no one's allowed in the house. Oh, well, can you go get Ken and bring him here? Yeah, let me go get him. Well, hold on. Man, the stairs, they're getting steam cleaned, and I don't want to step on the stairs. You know what, Junior? I don't think your dad really cares a shit, so I'm just going to come in and get him. No, 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 no! <laughs> Damn, Junior, you run upstairs fast. I'd like to take my time. Wait, I thought you said these stairs were getting steam cleaned. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph! Cody's on his way up! It's all good, Junior. I already found some legs. You're welcome. You chose black legs? It's the only G.I. Joe I could find! Cody's not gonna believe this. Well, how about you just tell him that he's half Kenyan? 
Oh, Jenny, it took me forever to get up those stairs. I don't know how you do it so fast. I guess I'm just getting old. Whoa, nice leg tan, Ken. Jenny, you didn't tell me Ken sunbathed by the pool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ken wanted to surprise you by getting a tan, only on his lower half. Oh, it's the only half that matters. Ooh, I can't wait to lick him. Yeah, so just take Ken and go home. Uh, I just want to ask him about his day first. Uh, so how was it, Ken? Uh-huh. Yeah. Dude, he's so weird. Oh, really? Oh. What? Guys. What? Well, Ken says you guys lost his legs and replaced his legs with G.I. Joe legs. No, 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 liar. Junior, Ken never lies to me. Okay, fine, we lost his legs, but we don't know what happened. He was literally just sitting here when I was on the phone with you, and his legs just disappeared. Uh, dude, I actually know what happened. I got hungry, and I wanted to eat some chicken legs. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good.